Hi there, it's Norbert here with another episode of the Pro Tools Video Dictionary. In this video, you'll learn about the group side pane. Please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. And if you want to stay in the loop about my latest tips and tricks, please subscribe to my newsletter after watching the video. Now let's go. With the group side pane, you can activate, deactivate and modify groups in your session. The contextual menu lets you create new groups, toggle which group types you are currently shown, mix, edit or mix, edit, suspend all groups, a feature which I really like, modify groups or delete groups. If you click on the name of a group, you activate or deactivate the corresponding group. If you click on the tiny circle at the start of each line, you select all tracks in the group. If you use the shift modifier, you deselect the corresponding group. Now you can do really, really great combinations of selections like this. If you control on a Mac or start on Windows, click on a group name, you show all tracks in the group. And just like with selecting, if you use the shift modifier, you can hide or unhide the tracks in a particular group. If the group focus is active, pressing an alphabetic key will activate or deactivate the group with the corresponding letter. Note that this only works for the first bank of groups, groups 1 to 26. In this video, I have only talked about the group side pane. In future videos, I will also have a look in more depth at the group tracks dialog. That's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Here's a question for you. Which other Pro Tools functions would you like me to cover in future videos? Please let me know down in the comments. Now, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button and share with your friends. And if you're interested in more tips about Pro Tools and audio production, subscribe to my newsletter right now. See you soon. Don't forget to make some noise.